turn Dietrich down just a little bit, and then we yeah. are going to move yeah, on. Yeah, Dietrich. Yeah, all right. We're going to turn you up, though. Oh, okay. Don't be worried about that. Hello, everyone, and good morning to you. This is Good Friday. I am here in the studio with the lovely, wonderful, fabulous actress and songtress, Sandra Corelli, y'all. Come on now. Give it up. This is the Atlanta Songbird. <laughs> Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. When I first met this beautiful angel, our, my soul just connected. It was my first year here in Atlanta. However, I have to put all those things aside because I didn't know where I was going to go. And she looked at me and I was re I'm, I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, I was ready to bow out of here because I wasn't getting my way. I didn't know anybody. And she looked at me and she said, she looked at me, be still. And she gave me that mama look. And she was singing, actually, but she did a song called Testimony. Mm -hmm. And I was with my son. And I was ready to start bawling out while I was there at the city winery. But before me, we're not going to talk about me today. We're going to talk about her. Now, on, on April 28th, Sandra is going to be at the city winery at 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. Now, you know what? That's not easy, you know, for a singer to come out there and just give her heart and love to everybody for two hours and more. Sometimes it's more than that. Is that correct, Sandra? Yeah, that's true. That's true. But actually, it's the doors open at 6, and the show starts at 8 o'clock. So, I mean, but it's still a two-hour show. So, that's not an easy thing to do. Well, amen. You know what, Sandra? I'm truly blessed to have you here and, and Thank with you me for on Positive me. Vibes. Uh, it's truly a blessing. And you know what? Um, First, let's talk about some of the things. We talked about, we talked about you being at the City Winery, and it's Oh, doors open at 6, and uh -huh. it starts at 8 o'clock. Uh-huh. April 28th. April 28th. Mm -hmm. And um, also, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Congratulations to you for being recognized here in Georgia for all the beautiful things that you have done. You know, it's just good to be recognized. It know? is. It is. And not just by just anybody. We're talking about Georgia. We're not talking about that little man over in the corner. Even though if he did recognize <laughs> you, it's still good all as well. But congratulations to you. Thank you. Truly, Thank you. Truly, it truly meant blessed. a lot to me. It meant a lot to be honored and to just be seen, mm -hmm. you know. So you worked so many years like I have, being a veteran and being part of the Atlanta scene for so many years. Yes, And you just wonder sometimes, do they really see me? Because as time goes on, people move in and out. Yes. But do you remember the people that shoulders that everything was built on? Yes. And I remember the days of uh, before this, uh, before this time, where before the, the uh, movie industry came in, before mm -hmm. the recording industry yeah. came in. And we were just doing it because this is what we were called to do because we loved it. And Amen. because it was a part of who we was. And then after the industry came in and everybody come, you know, new came in, then it's just like, well, who are you? You know? Right. Um, and of course, I've had the privilege in order to work nationally and internationally. Amen. Yeah. But a lot of us, a lot of us didn't. Some people stayed here mm -hmm. and um, they were like ambassadors, you know, to the industry from That's Atlanta. Right. Yes. And so I just feel proud to be recognized by my state. Um, yes. And not going and saying, you know, what was I appreciated? Right. And you all, when you started in 2003, this is, you know, you've been out there for a long time. Oh, 2003. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was before that. was that. <laughs> the DS Class Reunion in two, uh, as, uh, as Emma. Yeah. But, you know, and also, you know, a lot of people um, know me with the Tyler Perry Productions, which is great. Mm -hmm. But Tyler um, saw me in productions before that at the Alliance mm -hmm. uh, with Jamande. You know, these theaters that was before, you know, he be really began his urban theater mm -hmm. um, success. Yes. And uh, which was good because I think that's one of the reasons why he was the one that would stick out. Because right. he really went and studied and watched other people. Because mm -hmm. everybody can't do it the same way. Everybody, Amen. they're different. And sometimes, you know, it takes a person, I, I call him a sponge, because he could see something and go and figure it out. Like, that's how it goes. Mm -hmm. Then some people have to go and study for years to know right. how to make the magic happen. Right. Yeah. 
And you know, too, some people try to do it and it's really not their calling. They try to force it, force it, and force it. And if and they get upset, but it's not to be upset. It's just to be thankful that, you know, God just allow you to know it's not your calling, baby girl or baby boy. Just right. try something else. That's all. Right. You know, it's not the end of the road. Yeah, well, it might be something uh, that, you know, I know a lot of uh, people who work on the technical end. Mm -hmm. They started out wanting to be the artist. And then they figured out that, oh, I'm supposed to be in the industry, but not necessarily doing that. Amen. Yep. Amen. Yep. And you know what? And I can I can attest to that because I remember I wanted to sing and sing and sing in church. Oh, really? And, um, you know, <laughs> and I, when I was six, I remember I was telling my grandmother I would try to sing what she sang. And she was... And then she was like, okay, you want to sing? Okay, we're going to let you sing. And then I went to choir rehearsal when I was six years old. And I was there, and I'm singing my little heart out. And then they said, you know what, on Sunday, you're going to be the soloist. I said, mm-hmm. I'm like, what, me, really? So I was a soloist. I was so scared. But I did it, and I yeah. thought I did a, a terrible job. And everybody was like, you know, but you did really good. And I said, okay, well, okay, all right. I think I'll just, I'll continue just to help the church and to do, yeah, you know, things in the church. To, yeah, because they're trying to, you know, you got to be that way with the kids. You got to, you know, encourage them, you know. And, and the thing about it is you were able to say, you know, maybe not this, but I'll be in the industry. Right. Yeah, right. I want to be around it. I want to help it be what it is, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Just, and also, you know, as I work here, it's, this is this truly, Sandra, is not, it's not for me. This is for those artists. For you know, this platform was was given to me by God, but it wasn't given to me for just me. That's you know right. what I mean? It's, I'm, never... I, I, it's for me to help other people to be acknowledged in yes. what they do. Yes, yes. So I've met you, and by God's grace, I'm truly, truly thankful. I'm proud so, of you. Thank you. And yes. I want to uh, let's talk about you know your your acting and things like that. Yes. And also we're going to get into your singing. Now I was I woke up about four thirty this morning thinking about you and the things that we were going to talk about. Now. So because I like to watch movies that make me laugh, and laughing is in the Bible in several scriptures. Oh, yeah. It's How beautiful. was it that you were able to, and you're a very serious in person, and you're also a person which is joyful as well. How were you able to keep that straight face and do the roles that you were doing, working with the mans and all the other um, actors that are fun? Yeah, yeah, right, humor? working with David Mann <laughs> and Tyler Perry is not an easy thing. Um it's just that I, when I started, I think about the character. Mm -hmm. And if the character is to laugh at that person, you know, uh, mm -hmm. they do that. Mm -hmm. But it's important that um, I would stay in character for the story. Right. But um, but we're in rehearsals, we get all the laughs out. I'm sure. You know, that's what we do. Takes. I mean, we crack up, we <laughs> stop. Because we know we can't do it once we get on stage right. unless it's on purpose. Right. You know, kind of like if we do like a Cara Burnett kind of thing. And sometimes they used to crack up, you know, mm -hmm. uh, at some things that would just happen spontaneous. But you don't want to just break the whole, you know, you, you want the, to be you entertaining the people and not let them think that you being entertained. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> but, um, and then the thing about it was, Tyler would have me do these serious roles and being the monarch of the family uh -huh. and all these heavy parts. And then when I did For Better or Worse, he flipped it and I was doing comedy uh -huh. um but he always thought i was funny he kind of <laughs> knew on the side that i had this like this dry humor mm -hmm. and he was like that's her that's miss v <laughs> and uh we we just had a ball there i'm sure we had did. a ball there now we all go through challenges in our lives and just mm -hmm. in you know in our jobs and in our careers can you um talk to us about a challenge that you have went through and how you got through it and why wow a challenge it's been so many um I mean, I can start from the beginning, mm -hmm. being um, from a single parent, mm -hmm. and my mom just telling me, you know, I could do anything. Um, if I, if anything I wanted, as long as I worked at it and worked hard. She taught me a, a great work ethic. Um, I just, I just think it could have been really hard for me. Um, we did have difficult times. Um, I remember wanting to go in the, in the band and you got to rent the instruments. And right. And my mom was just like, I'm just uh, trying to make the rent. I'm trying to do whatever. Mm -hmm. But she made a way where I could get that instrument. Wow. You know? That's awesome. Um, and I, I didn't know any better. I mean, I just, I asked and I know she was kind of like hesitant, but then I got the instrument. So, I mean, it's, it's, it started early on. It builds, your character builds as your journey builds. Amen. You know. Amen. Uh -huh. Yes. 
So, um, and, and, and it's, you know, it's been that way. I've had times when I've auditioned and not gotten parts. Mm -hmm. um, and then having come into the reality of that's not for you. And then yes. what can you do to be better? Amen. You know, um, so, I mean, it's just, just a part of life. It's just one thing, uh, one thing, one chapter after another. What is it that I have to build this time? You know, I never take anywhere that I go as just somewhere I'm just there. Mm -hmm. It is for a purpose. Amen. And it's for a reason. Amen. And you are purposefully here with me. And I thank you, God. <laughs> I do. We're not going to um, just, we're, she's not, we're not going to interview her all like that. Like she's going to go into a job interview. We want to definitely um, give some love and praises to her music. We'll be listening to I'm Still Missing. Hold on one second. We're going to have to tell them this is from the SOS band. <laughs> okay. Got it. We got a tourist coming. I got a couple stuff. I'm, I'll wait to play Great. it and then we'll go to the next thing. I'm still missing your love. I had a, um, a laptop and it's acting all weird, so I had to do everything to my iPad. Yeah, I love my iPad. And that looks like a. Uh, is that the air? I, I don't know. It was a gift. It looks like the air. The air is good. Oh, okay. That's a good one. We're still on here too, so we got to keep going. So what? So we're still on live on Facebook. So we keep okay. Going. So, so. But anyway, y'all. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is all about Sandra today. I'm behind the scenes. We're here. This is I'm Still Missing Your Love with the SOS band. And Sandra, she's in there. You got to hear right. her. I hear her. I don't know if y'all do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, y'all. Tune your ears and clean them wax, clean that wax out. And go to www.visionradio105.com to hear this beautiful music from this beautiful songstress. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss it. This was the first SOS band single that Chandra was featured on. Her first, her first hey, y'all, we have this gentleman in the background. It's the first SOS single that Chandra was featured on. My mom loves the SOS band. I remember them. You do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The, the, this stuff is just timeless. It's going to go on long after we leave. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my son, he, you know, he's an Earth, Wind, and Fire fan. He gets in the weekend. If Earth, Wind, and Fire comes on, he's like, oh, my, that reminds me of Gigi, my mom who passed. Yeah. Because they used to listen to Earth, Wind, and Fire, Heat Wave, and all these, Michael Jackson, all the stuff, and they were singing. He was singing back to her, mm -hmm. and he would dance and just entertain her. Yeah, I mean, that's happy that he likes Earth, Wind, and Fire because not only was the musicianship the top notch, but it was something about their music. Mm -hmm. You know, it's almost contemporary gospel. It is. Yeah. And it's, it's very yeah. spiritual. You figure Earth, very Wind, much and Fire. So. Yeah. They knew exactly what they were doing. They knew how they were packaging it. Mm -hmm. And they knew what they were doing. That's awesome. <laughs> I wanted to see them in um, Maze and a whole bunch of other people that, you know, that came. Right. I wanted to take her, but we didn't get a chance to go. Uh, you could do what now? I said I wanted to take her, but we didn't get a chance because she passed okay. before. Yeah. I was going to try to surprise her. I'm like, she'll go. But she was, I'm like, she was, I don't want to go. I'm not sure. I'm like, come on, you can go. You can go. Come on. Let's, yeah. see, what they, let's see what the fans were saying to you. Um, there's, we have Pittsburgh on here, North Carolina, New York, Pittsburgh, New York. Uh, let me see who else we have on here. California, Brazil, and, um, wow. Jamaica. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. You got to know about what you got going on since I'm on this side. I'll, I'll do it on here. Okay. Great. Hey y'all, come on down to, um, the city winery. I'm sorry you can't see me, but it's all about Sandra today. At City Winery, April 28th at 8 o'clock. Come down, 6 o'clock. Get your parking. You don't want to be walking. It's, it's not as, you know. <laughs> come on. We want you to come and enjoy yourself. Take your shoes off and listen to this beautiful song. She says she sings her songs and, and she just embraces the love of the crowd. I love it. I can hear you. Mm -hmm. I can hear you in there. <laughs> That's that ear. 
You hear me? I hear you. Hello, everyone. We are back with Sandra Corelli here in the house. That was SOS. I'm missing your love. I heard her in there. Did you guys hear her? If you did, hit me up on my Facebook page. We're going to continue on with this beautiful interview because I know she has a lot to do this weekend. And uh, this week, it's Good Friday. Jesus paid the price for all of us. So you should not be dismayed uh, if you are up breathing and if you are hearing this broadcast right now with Sandra Corelli, you need to give God thank you because there's someone that did not get the opportunity to even just breathe this morning, open up their eyes, or just even get a fresh drink of water this morning. We just thank God for this opportunity. And, uh, you know, I want to talk about, we, we were talking about laughing and the spiritual, the, you know, the spirit of laughing and laughing. I want to just go into some scriptures real quick. In Job 5, 22, it says, at destruction and famine thou shall laugh neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth you should just laugh right that's right you should laugh so sandra as you go out on the stage you've been at the city Winery several times so tell us what we can look for at the city Winery. i don't want to give you give it all away but tell us what we can look for at the city Winery on april 28th okay well I, I, okay i'll talk about that but i wanted to wrap, piggyback on something that you was talking okay. about and you know um that song, I'm Missing Your Love, it's one thing about Jesus. It's one thing about, that's a love we'll never miss. Amen. The love of God. And so I just wanted to say that just, mm -hmm. that just that's what that made me think about it being Amen. Good Friday. We'll never miss that. We'll always have that. We can always count on his love. Amen. And that also was um, the first time um, being the uh, new lead vocalist. Um, that was the first recording, me being the lead vocalist for uh, the SOS band. I was with them um, uh, a little over seven years, and uh, it was a great experience. And also, they prepared me for a lot of things. I learned a lot of things being an SOS band. Mm -hmm. I learned about the business, but also learned about stage savvy mm -hmm. uh, on stage. And I think as a solo artist now, uh, when I perform, all those things come into play. And which, you know, takes me to another level of being a singer, mm -hmm. to be a great singer and be a great entertainer. It, it, it takes uh, artistry. Um, yes. We don't have a lot of people that do that. You know, either they're great singers or they're entertainers, mm -hmm. but they find people who can entertain uh, and artistically be very good like you at are. the craft. <laughs> like you are. Let but me that, tell you, when I went to the first event, you were singing so good, I, and I drank a lot of water, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to go to the bathroom because I didn't want to miss you on stage. So I'm sitting there, and I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm you're you're singing, and I'm just, you know, waddling in my chair. And my son's looking at me like, "Mom, you have to get a rest." I'm like, "I'm not going over. We're gonna hold this." That's but, a lot, um, Tracy. It was. Um, That's a lot, Tracy. <laughs> but it was. I mean, it was good. I just, I love to see you on stage. It's truly, truly phenomenal. I mean, when you come in the building. Just knowing that you're there, and I didn't really even know who you were. I just mm -hmm. knew that I was coming to see you sing, yes. and I was just excited. There was just that excitement in me that just, I knew that I was going to get something from being in that place where you're singing, and I yes. got that. Yes. That song, Testimony, melted my heart, and just your voice and how you just, your voice just goes through the crowd like a wave. It's almost mm. like the church fan. You know, when you're at church and you get hot yes, and you yes. get that church fan and you're fanning, that's how you feel when you go yes. to Sandra. You see Sandra in concert, ladies and gentlemen. I will not kid you not. I will not tell a lie. This is the truth from my lips to your ears and to everyone listening out there in Vision Radio World. This is Positive Vibes with Sandra Corelli. We have some other songs coming up with that she's wrote. And we're gonna spend. Mm -hmm. We're gonna share those with you. I don't want to hold everything to myself. I do want to be selfless today, but we truly want to make sure that we utilize her time wisely and uh, just do do what we can and allow her to express how she feels about you, the audience. Well, I think you just told them what they're gonna get. <laughs> well, they think, but they gotta get it for themselves. I told that was my experience. Well, well, that's what that's what I want to give out. You know, I want to give something. Uh, for the ears for you to listen to, but I also want to give something for the spirit. Mm -hmm. And I was talking earlier about uh, even the group Earth, Wind, and Fire, how they were able to do both, how they could entertain and minister at the same time, mm -hmm. and to everybody, and yes. not being restricted, yes. and just feeling freedom mm -hmm. uh, and your liberty of your gift. Amen. And so uh, that's what they get. 
They're going to have a great time. They're going to have fun. Um, it, it, it has moments where it gets deep, but it gets deep in such a beautiful way that you leave with something. Amen. It's going to make you think and deal with your relationship with God mm -hmm. or deal with relationships Amen. when you leave my show. Amen. And at the same time, you've had a great time. You've been entertained. You you dance. I mean, you talk back. I have parts where I have the audience to participate, you know, mm -hmm. with me to help me. Yeah, to, to sing with create you. <laughs> this atmosphere. It's, it's just not uh, just about me. It's about us. Amen. Okay. So you're we all heard that you you're an amazing performer who gravitates toward the audience. What is your most memorable moment at one of your events and why? Um it was a young girl that came um, to my show, and she came all the way from like Colorado. I was like in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and she was telling me. She said, I, "You know, I've been like friends with you on Facebook for like a couple of years." Mm -hmm. And she said, "I've been following you everything." And she said, "I had to come to your show." And once I met her, I do remember her, but she was a young woman that wanted to get into the industry, mm -hmm. and. She wanted advice from me. She came all the way wow. from another state. You know, she didn't wait till I got to her. Mm -hmm. She came to That's me. That's walking in faith. And it really allowed me to know um, whatever power this is that it, that's in my gift, how far it reaches and how real it is. Mm -hmm. That it's nothing that I should take for granted. And Amen. that I understand people are being encouraged and that they're watching. Amen. You know, and you not all you're not only just doing stuff here in Atlanta, you're getting ready to be in DC in May. Right, right? that's right. I'm With doing, the head over heels play. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh play called Head Over Heels. Um Lolita uh Snipes, uh great writer. Mm -hmm. Um she's done this show before. But uh, what I like to do is, even when I saw Tyler Perry mm -hmm. early on in his career, it was something about how he was writing. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just about he was a great writer. Right. It was a message that he was giving. And when I see people like that doing that, I want to be a part of it. Amen. I want to participate. Amen. You know? So she's one of those kind of people. And so um, we'll be there Mother's Day weekend in D.C., you see my face out. I love DC. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, it's Friday, May 10th at 8 p.m., Saturday, May 11th from 3 30 and there's 8 30. If you want more information, go to www.lolita snipes. That's L O T I T A N, excuse me, L O T I T A S N I P E S dot com to get more information regarding this beautiful event, Head Over Heels Play with Sandra Corelli. You don't want to miss that. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to a song that Sandra wrote herself. This is called Broken Promises. I was hoping you get that love again in there. Love again? I sent her, I sent her love again. Okay. Okay, we're good. Because that's from the movie Diary of Mad Black Woman. Okay, we're going to. Okay. And that's my favorite song. That's, that's, I froze out that part. <laughs> I love that song. But Son hears it. He's like, he could be upstairs in the attic or something. We're like, that's Sandra down there. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, all right, there's people next door. That's where she is. Right there, to the left. Let me get love again here. That's the in instrumental part. <laughs> the instrumental version. Do we need to hear the other? Wait, what is that on? Do I need to you turn it on and put the next one?
but you end up with all the bits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just that, that the, the forty million dollars the next twelve year old program. Wow. I do editing there. Wow. So I have this two um I have this two hot looking twenty four hours. Hmm? I have this two looking twenty four hours right tonight. Oh, okay. She's been about an hour. <laughs> I like that. That's smooth. Mm-hmm. What lady, oops, 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 check, check the wrong thing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. Here we are we're again with Sandra Corella. We have one more song uh, to play, and then we're going to uh, let her uh, go where she goes and do what she does and to bless other people. Sandra, that was truly a blessed song. I'm yes. truly, truly grateful. Yes, yes. Um, You know, when I did Broken, Bro- Broken Promises uh, with the SOS band, uh, Clarence Avant, um, which they're doing a big thing uh, honoring him too. I mean, he he's somebody like Barry Gordy. He's mm-hmm. like the second Barry Gordy. Um, and I remember him coming in the studio, and I'd written the lyrics to this song. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, you know, we usually don't have executives come in mm-hmm. before the wow. product is finished because yeah. they can't. You know, they're not the visionaries, and they tend to look at stuff from a money point or whatever. Um, but he was sitting there, and we were just so scared. We were just like, okay, what is he going to think of the song? So he said, who wrote the lyrics? And so none, none of the band members said anything. <laughs> so the producer said, she did. And then he looked, and he said, they did lyrics. <laughs> good. That's yeah. good. Because it comes from real life experiences. You know, when you do that, people relate, and they know the truth. They mm-hmm. know when you kind of just conjured up something, you know, just like, well, let me just try to appease and like, okay, uh, gimmicky. Uh, but when you come from the truth, right? That's when all the good stuff comes. All the you know, no matter it can hurt, it can make you happy, get whatever. But you know, it'll set you free. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Well, we don't want to hold her long. We have another song here. It's love again uh, with uh, Sandra Corelli. You're going to truly bless the song. Hey, this is in Diary of a Married Black Woman, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Great way to end it. (laughs) Thank you. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my sounds like I'm ready. I'm, it's me next too. Maybe I'll just be getting all in love on, 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 on the TV and not be me. <laughs> That's what said. Uh-huh. <laughs> I watch that all the time. I still watch it. Me and my son, we watch it all the time. Wow. I think I think that movie is his best movie. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to think of another one that I like as much. Um. Can't name one. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. But like, this one, that was really, really good. It was a really beautiful mu- movie. I mean, there were so many things that you could have learned from that movie. Just because so the thing many. is, it's like, you know how when you're hungry, you know, you don't, you, you don't let other things kind of influence you. 
that's the way that movie is mm -hmm. for Tyler. And um, then you start like being uh, like Michael Jackson at the end, and you really kind of started uh, imitating himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, at first, it was I discovered boy. these things, and all of a sudden, he started saying, "I got to put them in." You know, and that's, yeah. that's pretentious. You know, so that's why I love Diary because he didn't know nothing; he was a baby. Mm -hmm. You know, and it was coming from his heart. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. You did a yeah. you did a wonderful. You always do a wonderful job. Yeah, you look, you look beautiful, and it's just it's just a blessing. Yeah. Well, you know, at first I was kind of upset because I was supposed to do more than one song. And oh, I, really? <laughs> when I got to the studio, they said, well, you're just going to do this song. And I was like, because also I'm thinking about getting paid. Uh -huh. I was like, am I going to play? I thought, you know, he would do that, me know him knowing me mm -hmm. and it being an opportunity for me. Right. And uh, I went on it, did the song or whatever. And I even told Larry, I said, I'm, I'm really kind of disappointed, but I'm going to go to the, uh, the talk to them. It's on Facebook. No. Oh, no, I tell oh, the story. Okay, okay. And uh, I was a little disappointed. Uh-huh. And um, I said, but I'm going to the opening and I'm going to support Ty. I mean, this is my friend. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, yeah. I, what I have, I'm good. When I went and I saw the song on the screen, I got it. Yeah. Because it was so big. And I could hear God saying, you didn't need all of those. Mm -hmm. I was, that's, that's what I was one. just thinking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because, you know, no, we, want these, we, we, about, we want these little things. And God is his... His hope for us and what he wants for us is so much bigger. Mm -hmm. That's when it just opened my eyes. I was like, wow. He humbled you. I, I had to go back to down. see the movie because I was so struck by that. Mm -hmm. Just dealing with what God had did. That I didn't even see the rest of the movie. I had to go back and see the movie. <laughs> it was awesome. You did a wonderful <laughs> job. You got about 46 seconds of there. We'll be closing it then. I'll let you, I'll let you pause. And thank you. It thank you for ready. having me. You're and welcome. What's Congratulations, up, and I'm glad you didn't go nowhere. I know, me too. Because you were going. I, I, and was, I was just to like, pack. yeah, I'm I, I felt the panic, though. I felt the panic. You know, I so I was just like, you got to trust him. If that's what he says, you know, that's where he sent me. You got to stick it out, you know. I don't went somewhere that it just crashed. Yeah, but if you, right like, if you like, you know it was you, it would have mm -hmm. been different. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Sandra Corelli, and we are going to say thanks to her and give her all our love. And hey, don't forget to support her on, excuse me, April 28th at the City Winery and in D.C. on May 10th and 11th. Hello, everyone, in uh, Positive Vibes World Vision Radio 105.1 here with, uh, with Sandra Corelli. We want to say thank you for tuning in on Facebook as well as uh, following Sandra. Go to her Facebook page and also just, you know, Support her as she supports you. Honestly, we just truly thank God for her on this good Friday. This Friday is going to make your Friday good. God Ooh. bless you all out there in Facebook land. And uh, we just say God bless you. Enjoy your weekend. Be blessed. Show love. God bless you. I'm live. <laughs> Enjoy it. Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome.